We're talking to you from the past in the future with one of the most incredible creators who is in three different volumes of the containment breach series because he's that awesome i didn't even want him there every time i turned around he just appeared in the book again no one of my favorite people one a, a stunning writer stunning writer amazing editor and uh, and i believe right now we can both say a fine judge of soda water uh mm -hmm. you got something good right there don't you inspired me i don't usually do this on these things so who knows where this is going to go I'm trying to tear this whole thing down. Oh, you're going to burn it down. Uh, oh, and I didn't say this to you off there. I meant to. We're going to say it while we're recording. We try and keep these PG-13, which I'm mostly telling me more than you. Uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> so, but who are you? This is Dustin Luke Nelson. Dustin, who the hell are you? Well, I was going to tell a story to do that, but now that I know it's PG-13, I can't. Ah, oh, the hell with it. Go for it. We'll edit it. No, we'll just, we'll uh, bleep it. Uh, I, I'm a writer, uh, journalist, editor, uh, person who likes books. Uh, I hate them. Containment breach. Got a whole pile of them over here. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So, and I, and I, a person who just keeps worming his way back into containment breach, I guess, in one way or another, editing or writing. <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't ever want you to leave. I want to work with Dustin on everything. I want to work with you on everything. Uh, so you, you are a. Right, I happen to know that you have a uh, a storied career of stories. Uh, you, you've been involved in in literary uh, pursuits, uh, running the gamut. Uh, can you can you give us the ten second uh, version of that? Yeah, I, I just uh, chaos agent of chaos in my own life. Uh, so I got a couple poetry collections and then started doing comics and I have edited literary magazines and uh, did a bunch of experimental fiction stuff and uh, just kind of all over the place. Written some short films, uh, wrote for a live radio comedy. Uh, yeah, I just am up for whatever, I guess. It would seem like that and oh. prepared to cause chaos for myself. James, uh, James Lyons, co-founder of Future Pumps, calls me a sower of chaos in the lives of other people. It sounds like you're doing that to yourself. <laughs> I'm up for doing it to other people, too. I mean, I'm inclusive. <laughs> we can all have some of this chaos. Inclusive, exclusive, all-clusive. I love it. Um, the One of the things about Dustin is Dustin has an incredible natural sense of story pacing uh out of all the things that i'm impressed with about you and i am regularly impressed with you a great deal um it is whenever we work together so dustin has written he wrote for containment breach volume two he did a story with the the great unbelievable wonderful and amazing gabe martini called dad's lesson Great Gabe Martini is one of the first person. So Dustin and I are both members of the Comic Jam, which is a cult run by uh, uh, by uh, uh, Casey Allen. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're all going to be drinking Kool-Aid in about six weeks. Um, uh, I wouldn't do that unless it was spiked. I, uh, <laughs> I the, the comic jam, the comic jam.com is an incredible group of people making comics. You go there and you can learn to make comics with other people that are learning that want to learn. And everyone really talks about if you want to, but I'm going to tell you something else. If you're watching this right now, you're watching this very probably because you're a fan of comics. Every week, the comic jam drops a slew or at least four <laughs> one page comics by these incredible creators, some of whom are Dustin and I. Um, and they are awesome. They're, they're, it's so cool what people are putting out there. And it's it a is. great break from work. Uh, and D Dustin, you were there a lot longer than I've been there, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's been a while since I've uh, chipped in, but I've been doing it for like four or five years now, I think. Uh, pretty irregularly, but it's awesome. It's a great place. And it, like kind of a nice playground because you also like, I don't know, the number of people that I've read something from there and just like read a page and then like six months later, they've got something else going and you're just like awesome creators, awesome artists. Yeah. Uh, I mean. So Dustin, what did you do? So you worked, you've edited um, four different stories in the Containment Bridge volume three and four. Yep. And um, what did you, uh, what did you do? You made your own piece though. Tell us about your 43 page. <laughs> my, my magnum opus uh, of five pages for game uh, <laughs> it's uh you know 
one thing I love about doing short stories with comics is it's totally different. I, I'm working on bringing a short story into like a mini series and realize like, man, a short story is just its own language. It's a different thing. The way you're ending stories, your expectations, what, you know, what you want out of as a reader is so different. And I love that format. Uh, and what's like kind of what's to me is exciting about the stories I edited, why I'm excited to read all the other stories and containment breaches. There's a premium on being exciting and kind of quickly and doing something that the reader hasn't seen before, uh, which all stories want to do. But in a short story, you're also allowed to just kind of like freak out like your story. Just be like, you know what? We're going off the walls here because I got five pages uh, and we have to, you know, make it <laughs> crazy. Uh, so Gabe, Gabe went with me on this uh, and our story is. Uh, kind of this quiet domestic story uh but it's all set in this kind of sci-fi framework of a uh it's almost like it's it's called the sleep stream and it's almost like twitch where you plug in and you dream and people watch your dreams uh so it's got some of that weirdness while like trying to root it in like a very real world but yeah the the, the sleep stream is kind of the big thing in it and it's uh what Gabe did with the visuals on it. And it's great. I'm super excited to share it with people and just kind of, you know, moving from like this very domestic life of like a husband and wife arguing to, uh, you know, this wild dream space back and forth. And uh, Gabe, Gabe nailed it. He's able to, you know, put that vi those visual touches in there that connect everything. And uh, it's great. He's, he's outstanding. He is amazing. Forgive me, Sam was trying to pop in. I'm just asking him to give us five more minutes. Sam, that's on tape being told. Uh, um, G Gabe, Gabe gets it too. When when you write a script, he digests it in a certain way. He asks you questions in a certain way. Uh, once he st he starts to draw, it's because he's got it, and he's got it so clearly. Um, you guys rocked it. I'm so excited for people to see this. Uh, what what else? What else is there? It is 2023 right now. As people have eyes on this, where do we find Dustin Luke Nelson? So hopefully at this point, I've got the first issue out of our new comic, Magda Skeleton Maker, and working on issue two. Yes, uh, I backed it on Kickstarter. Where can I buy it now on, in 2023? It's, my, it's now on my website. It's DustinLukeNelson.com. Okay. Uh, we're still taking pre-orders for the first issue. If this hopefully at that point we're just taking orders for issue one and pre-orders for issue two i guess uh trying to I, i'm not good at making promises to myself for the future i guess uh, so that's that's one thing and uh working on a new project with uh, another couple artists uh and i guess i can't really talk a whole lot about it yet but uh yeah more stuff i'll have it up on that website i'm on twitter at d luke nelson and uh you more or less just telling bad jokes and dad puns, uh, but sometimes pointing out the comics I'm making. That's, well. they, that's kind of my Twitter stream as well. <laughs> uh, give, me the, give me the website one more time, if you would. It is DustinLukeNelson.com. DustinLukeNelson.com. Guys, you got to check out Dustin's stuff. He is incredible. He's a great writer. He has got brilliant ideas, and he's a hell of a guy to talk to. Where I can't believe we have we were supposed to do this for volume two, and, and Dustin, Dustin just escapes into, uh, I, I think he's doing a deliverance role play in the woods. I don't know what's happening, uh, but he keeps disappearing. Deep in the woods, <laughs> sleeping on an island the uh, last time. Uh, <laughs> Um, but we we finally got to talk. I want to do a writer's roundtable at some point. And I'm going to get you in on that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, FugitivePoems.com, Order Containment Breach, Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, Volume 4. Go to Kickstarter, go to Containment Breach, Fugitive Poems, and Backstart, Volume th Backstart, Kickstart, Volume 3. Or volume four, depending on when you're seeing this, there's amazing stories in both of these books. And Dustin's a huge reason uh, for that. Some of those are pretty amazing. So uh, I'm Christian DiMatteo, FugitivePoems.com, at FugitivePoems on Twitter, at FugitivePoems on Instagram, at CDMETC on Twitter, because I never thought when I came up with it, I'd be telling anyone that. But boy, is that terrible. Uh, but. Come, check out our comics. Fugitive Poems has huge stuff in store. We are Fugitive Poems, and we make comics. <laughs> <laughs>